Our first uh, IGLA athlete is a stand-up comedy uh, comedian from Atlanta, and he is here representing the Atlanta team. So uh, please give a warm welcome to J.B. Hack. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? We really don't talk like that in Atlanta. <laughs> Unless some hot guy thinks it's really sexy and I can slide right into it until we get naked and we're buttering up each other's biscuits. <laughs> I am with the Atlanta Rainbow Trout. Um, I joined the team basically to see cute guys in little speedos. But damn it, they spend all their time in the pool just swimming back and forth and back and forth. And the only way you can see anything is if you kind of sink to the bottom of the pool and look up. <laughs> and then they think you're drowning and you're pulled out and given mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation by a big, burly lifeguard named Heather. <laughs> 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 This isn't my first igla. I actually went to Paris. We got any swimmers who went to Paris there? Yeah, we got a couple. It was great. To me, the high point of the trip, of the meet, was this really cute little Italian. And he was hitting on me like there was no tomorrow. And I told him, boy, Italians like southern accents. Boy, you got to understand, I'm from Atlanta. You don't have to try so hard. <laughs> Now, I will admit I'm not a very fast swimmer, but I look good in the water. Kind of think of myself as a Esther Williams after one too many quaaludes. <laughs> That's about how fast I swim. In fact, the first meet I competed in, the only thing I scored was the head coach of the Montreal swim team. <laughs> now, I do love San Francisco. I've been going around, hitting the big sides. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, Fisherman's Wharf, Blow Buddies. <laughs> I, I went to Blow Buddies, got into this conversation with this really cute guy, and I swear to God, he told me this. He goes, you know, I really don't want to have sex with you. I want to take you out to dinner and a movie. I was like, bud, the name of this is Blow Buddies. <laughs> Not let's open a joint checking account. <laughs> My encounters with men are almost as pathetic as boy meets boy. Have you been watching this show? The whole big dilemma. Oh, is he gay? Is he straight? Is he gay? Is he straight? You know, I'm kind of like, let me give you a few tips here. If he's over 32 and his waistline isn't, he is gay. If you walk into his house and there's a wall painted teal toper terracotta, and he specifically refers to the color as teal toper terracotta, he's gay. If he can't throw a football, a baseball, or a frisbee, but he can throw a hell of a dinner party, he's gay. If he's ever shaved his head, his body, or his balls, he's gay. Or a swimmer, which is more or less the same thing. And if you ask him to sing happy birthday, as far as he's concerned, it's an audition for American Idol. Let me demonstrate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hey, hey, hey. Clang, clang, clang. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Clang, clang, clang. It's today. It's today. Clang, clang, clang. It's your birthday. So let's all be happy and gay. Thanks, everyone. I'm JB Hatch. <laughs>